Bubby. Hi. How do you feel today? Are we happy? Are we happy? Oh. Violet's just hanging out in her bouncer. She just ate. So she's uh, getting some bouncy, bouncy exercise before she needs to take a nap. Right? Oh. You can't test this. You cannot has. Sorry. It's been so, like, such weird weather the last week. It's been super cloudy. It's rained quite a few times for Arizona. It's nice, for sure. I really enjoy, you know, different weather, but it's just, it's weird. <laughs> it's been cold, too. This week should be a really good week. We, um... Today, Paul's at the dentist, which sucks for Paul, <laughs> but we're going up at the end of this week to Flagstaff. My parents rented up a cabin. Chelsea's graduating from college, so we're all going up there. My grandpa's coming in from Connecticut, so it should be a, a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in December, which is why we're doing, um, or at least I'm doing everyday vlogs. We're gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do everyday vlogs this month. And, yep, so I like could not, I didn't get any expurgate stuff done last week because Violet was just having a really tough week and when you work from home, it's just hard sometimes, you know, because it's like I can depend on her schedule for a while and depend on, you know, oh, she goes to sleep this time and she does this, but you know, babies don't stick to that. So what I planned didn't really work out because, you know, she had a really tough week and she usually doesn't. So Paul's going to come home from the dentist and then I'm going to get, um, really do a lot of like blogging stuff this week so that I can, ha I have so much stuff I have to post about. It's just, I have not been able to like go away from Violet. So I should be able to get a lot done. And then I think tomorrow she's going to go to my mom's house, which will be great. Paul is my hero. So I looked at my desk again and I looked underneath and it seemed like it only was two like Allen wrench um, nail or screw thingies on each end. So I was like, what if we take off one of the legs? So he took off one of the legs and we were able to bring it downstairs into this room, which is so awesome because otherwise I'd have to buy one. So Paul's my hero once again today for saving me and making my other room. It's gonna be a, a lot better now. So I am making dinner tonight and I got some flat iron steak and I'm gonna cook it the sous vide. And on the back of this, there was a, a rub recipe and I don't actually have any rubs available right now so I thought I'd make it up and see uh, how it is. It sounds good. Uh, let's see, this rub calls for Two tablespoons chili powder, two tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of ground cumin, uh, two teaspoons of minced garlic, two teaspoons of cider vinegar, uh, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and a quarter teaspoon of ground red pepper, but all I have is crushed red pepper, so... Um, I don't think I'm going to go through the effort of putting it in the mortar and pestle just because I probably won't care that much. Just have all of that mixed together and just going to sprinkle it and rub it in. Make sure to get it nice and packed into the meat so that way the flavors carry into it. And then I'm going to throw it in a Ziploc bag. Okay, so now I got it in the bag. Gonna do the push it under and create a vacuum seal with the water, and we're gonna set the temperature to 130. We're gonna do for about three hours. Now, just gonna wait for three hours, and then we'll probably sear it on the cast iron pan that we have. We just hung up these, which I had at the other house. And I wasn't sure where to put them, but it actually works really well right there. And then I hung up um, our stockings. So we got Paul's and mine, and I have to go get Violet one.
because I do not have one for her yet. I don't know what hers should be. I don't know, I'll have to go to Target and see what they have. No, go away, you have to go away. Well, you told me to watch. She's looking at me, I can't. Laughing up a storm. I missed it. I always miss it. I forgot the steak out and you have to dry it off. I was instructed that it needed to be dried. That yes. looks pretty good. It has to be super dry otherwise it won't sear. And you gotta be quick with this. How quick? Well like you leave it on for like one or one and a half, two minutes. But I'm just saying quick in the sense that like you don't want it to go too long. Okay. Yeah. Good. That thing is huge. That's why I'm counting. I'm okay, doing 30 okay. seconds. I got it now. I got it. Now. And a 45. For, for that diamond look. Right, so There's we, steam coming up. I know. So now we let it rest? Uh huh. Good. See that? See that medium rare from edge to edge? That is why I love sous vide. Does anyone else's kids like have to fall asleep in a certain way? Violet will only fall asleep when her head is facing the right and her arm is up by her face. This is how you know when she's gonna fall asleep. This is the only way. In her crib, she's starting to turn, I guess, like on her side, but in the Mamaru or in her rocker, anything that she's in, it's always her head turns to the right and the hand goes up and then you know she's like a minute from falling asleep. Someone just had a bath. Doesn't want to get her jammies on. But look at her hair, I just brushed it. And like, just has this little like, fwing. Little fwing. If I do it this way, you can tell there's like two pieces that are too long, but if it goes this way, then it's just like a little, a little fwing. <laughs> Baby, you're so cute. You can't has. I saw we, you can't not has. So I thought I had lost my uh, coastal.com glasses that I had, which I really like them. And uh, I thought I lost them. And on Black Friday, they had a really good Black Friday deal for the Derek Cardigan glasses, which is the same type. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy another pair because with the discount and everything, it came out to be like 50 bucks, which really isn't that bad for our glasses. And I'm always the one who it's like one pair's upstairs where I leave it in a different room and I don't know where it is. And I can't tell you guys how many times like me and Paul will be ready to watch a movie. And you know, I'm like, I don't know where my glasses are. I don't know where my glasses are. So I was like, whatever. Right after I ordered them, <laughs> Paul finds them in a place I had looked like 10 times. So now I have the blue pair and then these are the new ones and they are the black ones. I debated because they have some that are like neon like pink and neon blue. But I was I was thinking I probably wouldn't wear them. They would be like my at-home glasses. So these ones are good because they look really cool. They have like the multiply and divide and then they have equal signs on the side. So they're extra nerdy for someone who does not like math. <laughs> but I just got them in the mail. So it's 9.45 right now. Now that I've moved this down here, this was such a good mood. I'm so glad that we were able to move this desk down here. But I'm going to get my swatch stuff done so I can be more productive on my blog. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.